myself Dr. Surbhi Sahani, the host and the founder of the channel Dr. Surbhi Sahani Dental Series and Medical Videos. As you already know, there is two videos. The first one is regarding the important questions for the final year exam of the subject of public health dentistry or we can say cumulative dentistry. Already this video is out on my channel. I will definitely put the link in so you can check it out. With that, the second video is present on the topic that is the modes of fluoride administration. Another important question for the public health dentistry final year subject theory exam. Now today also I am going to talk about one of the most 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 important question of the public health dentistry. Definitely this question is important for your theory exam as well as it is important for your interview whether you give the interview in some private clinic or in some hospital or in some organization or in something somewhere you give the interview in some government college or government hospital for some kind of the government job then also this question is very very important without wasting time let's get started if you are new on my channel do subscribe my channel by pressing the button subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon. The importance of bell icon is that you can have the notification of my upcoming videos. Now today we are going to talk about the most important topic that is the mechanism of action of fluoride or how fluoride will prevent the dental caries. So basically the mechanism by which fluoride increases the caries resistance may arise from both either by the topical or the systemic application of the fluoride. There are lots of mechanism behind it. So we have to write it in five subheadings. Begin with the first subheading that is the increased enamel resistance. As Dental caries involve the dissolution of the enamel and that is occurred by the acid produced from the bacterial plaque. This process is inhibited by fluoride as it forms the fluoroapatite which is the less soluble mineral. As dissolution of the enamel occur in the carious attack which is the complicated process when the enamel is exposed to pH that is 5.5 or lower than that, it will dissolve. Therefore, it can lead to increase in the concentration of the calcium, phosphorus and other ions. So, if plaque stop producing the acid, then there will be the increase in the pH or we can say pH rises. The second mechanism is increased rate of post eruptive maturation. That means deposition of the mineral in the hypomineralized areas. Jaha jaha pe mineralization ki kami hai, maha maha pe minerals ka deposit hoona. Third method is the remineralization of incipient caries. Before we begin with the third mechanism of action, which come under the category of the mechanism of action of fluoride. Agar aapko is topic ke notes chahiye ho, to aap mujhe mail bhi kar sakte hai, aap mujhe DM bhi kar sakte hai, meri Instagram ID pe, jo definitely is video ke end mein hai, aur aap comment section mein apna WhatsApp number bhi drop kar sakte hai, so as one of my team member will definitely give you the notes regarding this topic. Now back to the topic, we are on the third point or the third mechanism that is the remineralization of the incipient caries. Position of the minerals in the damaged area of the tooth. This is the very very dynamic process and it result in the reduced enamel solubility. The reason behind is that there is the increase in the growth of the crystal which is larger than the growth of the size of the sound enamel. Moreover, there is one disadvantage.
that if very very large amount of fluoride is present in the calcium phosphate solution then it will definitely inhibit the process of remineralization because it form one compound that is the calcium fluoride which inhibit the growth of the crystals the hydroxyapatite crystal are exposed to low fluoride concentration it forms a layer of fluoroapatite over the hydroxyapatite crystal clear we govern the growth of this solution now the fourth mechanism is the interfere with microorganism there are two ways by which you can interfere in the microorganism when there is the high concentration and when there is the low concentration so when there is the high concentration seriocidal and that will reduce the plaque on the other hand when the there is the low concentration the fluoride act as bacteriostatic it will reduce the growth of the bacteria but without destroying them if then the last method or the mechanism which come under the category of fluoride mechanism is the modification in the tooth morphology the intake of fluoride during the tooth development then the tooth will form that is the more caries resistant tooth having the shallow cusp and the fossas and that make the tooth structure more self cleansing and that will also result in the reduction of caries so that's all about the whole mechanism of the fluoride in the manner to reduce the dental caries hope you understand it very well still you don't understand it then please rewind the video and watch it again if you want the notes you can also drop me the mail which is shown on your screen you can also comment down your whatsapp number so as one of my team member will deliver the notes on your whatsapp along with that you can also dm me on my instagram id which is shown on your screen share my videos as much as you can and if you like this video hit the like button